Hello everybody. This video that I'm going to make is about um, when I realized that I did not want to be a Christian anymore. And I'll try not to say you know as much in this video as I did in my last. When I finally decided that I did not want to be a Christian anymore, I was 24, I believe. I was going to a college uh, youth group uh, activity uh, that went on at the Assembly of God Church. I met a lot of people at uh, the college I went to that were Christians like me, and I felt like I needed some place where I could feel useful for God, some place where I felt like I could be in the company of other Christians. And so I heard about this, and I went. I was invited. I really liked it. Uh, went for a long time. I really liked it. I met a lot of people that were really good people. Uh, we we prayed. We had the whole you know the whole youth service thing, and this went on. I probably went for about a year or so. So I probably started when I was 23, and around when I was 24 is when I started really realizing things. Um, there was. Uh, this service it was about um, extra marital sex and they had a tent up front and the message uh, was basically about uh, making a promise to God to wait till you were married I had already broken that uh, rule I had and I'd never felt bad about it which that was one thing when I lost my virginity I thought I was supposed to feel horrible because I was a Christian and I did not feel bad about it one bit. It felt so right. Well, that's another story that I won't get into on YouTube. But so they had this service and they had all the guys that were going to make this promise to God walk up front, get in the tent uh, to symbolize that they were stepping into this tent to you know, get rid of their old life and when they stepped out they started a new life and they stood up front and then they wanted all the girls to come and put their hands on the guys and pray for them and to make that promise also well, I just sat in the back because I was like oh I'm not gonna hold this you know I'm, uh, I'm not gonna stick to this I know I'm not so I'm not even gonna go up there and I guarantee most of those guys probably didn't either but I kinda sat back and I just started watching things and I began to realize you know I have been brainwashed all my life. And I'll break the, the sermon down for you. First of all, for a youth group, for any youth group, you have this very fun, uh, younger guy, probably is his late 20s to mid 30s, uh, crazy, goofy guy, real, you know, real hip, uh, really funny. So the sermon, it, the, it starts out, uh, very funny. The guy's joking a lot, having a good time. You sing some praise and worship songs, and everybody gets really into it. And then he starts into the Bible study, and, you know, it kind of gets quiet. And he starts talking about it. And then, then they start making you feel guilty for something. You start feeling bad. You start realizing that you're a sinner and that you've done something wrong. Uh, so, so, inside your mind... You go, you're having a good time, so you're open to it because you're having a good time. You're open to what's going on. It's fun. You're ready to listen. You're in a good mood. And then you start feeling guilty about your life, about things, decisions you've made. And then, you know, you start really, they start talking about how we deserve hell and how we deserve death and how we're not worthy. And, and so you start feeling really bad. And then... Uh, when you start feeling really bad, you know, he wants to get quiet and pray. And he starts telling you there's hope. You know, Jesus died for you. And you can you can be uh, forgiven of your sins. And, and you can be worthy. Well, uh, behind him, they start playing the slow music the band does. They start singing softly. And, and they want you to pray. So you start praying. And then they have people come pray for you, and, and you feel that hope and that acceptance and everything. And I just sat back there, and I was like, golly, 
Now, how psychological is this? They really mind fuck you. I mean, they really do. And this has been happening since I was a young kid. And for the first time ever, I was realizing this. I was realizing why they started out, you know, with it being all fun and and cool. And then they started, you know, how they start making you feel guilty and making you feel really bad and breaking you down. But then they give you hope. And then you feel really bad and, and you're upset and, and you give into it. That was the day... I decided to stop going. I decided I was not going to do that. I hadn't decided yet if I believed in God or not, but I knew that I did not believe in the way they were doing these sermons. So, so I quit going. And I found it funny because slowly uh, those people stopped talking to me. They stopped hanging out with me. Uh, they didn't invite me back. They didn't uh, try to hang out or see what was going on. They just kind of disowned me. And another thing I thought was funny is because outside of the outside of those groups, you know, I thought these people were good and strong, uh, real Christians like I believed I was. But outside of those groups, they were just like everybody else, which there's nothing wrong with that because we're all human. I don't find anything wrong with that. But they they did not act the way. I felt a Christian should act. And after this after this sermon in which I decided I wasn't going to go anymore, I just realized, you know, we're all people. And we're all going to act like people. And, and you can call it you can call it sinful. I just call it human. There's nothing wrong with the way people act. You know, I'm not talking about extreme things like rape and murder. So if you're going to respond, don't say anything. Don't bring any of that up. I'm just talking about normal, everyday people. You know, just joking around, uh, talking about the TV shows they watch or the music they listen to, or, or making jokes that aren't appropriate. So what? But it was actually, that was the defining moment where I decided and that I wasn't going to go to church anymore. And then when I realized the way they, they brainwash people, when I realized the way they mindfuck you, that's the moment, that's the, the day I decided... You know, I finally realized I wasn't going to do it anymore. So if anyone has any similar stories, you know, I'd like to hear them. Uh, any insight to that or any thoughts on that, uh, it would be interesting to hear. Uh, thanks for watching.